Well, my friends, it is time to take Dancing Chris to... I don't know what he's doing right now. But we're going to Animal Kingdom. I've never looked at this little advertisement on the side of the soda cart. Meet me at the soda fountain. Mm -hmm. There's no longer soda fountains, right? Because of everything going on in the world, they shut them all off. So how are you supposed to meet that girl now? Now it is beautiful right now. It is like 70 degrees. We're gonna go get something to eat. We're here, the music is playing in the background. I love eating flame tree. You can always count on it every single time. I got a poisoned apple. <laughs> and a scar cupcake. <laughs> and a smokehouse chicken salad. All right, so scar cupcake. Red velvet cupcake filled with toasted marshmallows topped with chocolate marshmallow frosting. Chocolate crispies, white chocolate flames with green coloring, and a scar edible icing. 7.5. Uh, I took a bite out of scar and he just tastes like glue. I would avoid this at all costs, but eat the cupcake. Avoid scar at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like definitely where the kids will have to sit during lunch. Little kids table. Oh, look who we have botted over here. Look, Jared's so popular, he's got a line. Okay, we're at the tiger camp. This is the explorer bed where we explore a little bit of the history of our wilderness explorer troop. Ooh. This plaque over here actually commemorates our very first visit to the Anandapur Forest way back in 1912. Making a rubbing of it is a great way to remember all the different places that we've been, right? You want me to read this for you, Chris? I could do um, It says, the first visit of the wilderness explorers to Anandapur Royal Forest, 1912. Good job. They, they taught me that in traditions. How Do you to know read, how to read this? Uh, yes, this says, um, please <laughs> like, subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, please, because it really helps out. Well, we've now entered into the trail. Jared is busy, busy, busy today. Hi, we're at the tiger exhibit, and it looks like the fairy godmother has visited because she turned the tiger into a pumpkin. Look, it's a wild pumpkin, Chris. Oh, look, I think it's moving. Is it? Mm. I've never noticed the sign next to the water fountain. It says here is located safe water for travelers. Please know it is unwise to drink local water, standing water, water from unidentified sources. <laughs> the Ministry of Public Health of Anandapur. The best way to describe 2020 would be this carving. <laughs> we all feel that way. This is me. <laughs> Every, yeah, yours <laughs> at the corner. Everything's burning down. We're fine. No, come here. Uh, man's relationship with nature and over here, the river and all these, everybody's living together. Starting to cut down trees. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing good ever happens from cutting down trees. Then it's 2020. Yeah, and then everything goes 2020. And then, and then they created the vaccine and everything was fine again. That tree that got cut down a long time ago started growing up into a brand new tree. And then man respected nature. I said, yeah, I think Joe Rody said that this is like the Maharaja's tomb. The tomb? Or like a I always thought it was like two turtles like getting it on. Yankees. I wouldn't be, well, like, yeah, it's a turtle. One's on the bottom, one's on the top. It doesn't look too excited though. Oh, you're right. Ah, uh, tomb of Anahnata. That was presumably the Maharaja that was hunting tigers in Anandapur. And then clearly they built that statue the thing on the side that was like, and then he respected nature, and now it's a. And then now, now they're now see. they're here. Now they're now he's just uh, screwing around with some turtles, I guess. <laughs> I don't get so stressed in this part of the trail because I feel like the birds are gonna poop on me. I've had birds poop on me before at Disney. All the birds just chilling in the tree. Like Chris used to work at Caliber Rapids yeah. RIP. They have a, this is the sign for the competition. Shock Renati Adventure Rafting. It means Popeye's Adventure at Universal, right? Because it's the same ride kind of. Shock Renati is the name of the river and it means river that goes around in a circle. I swear. Oh. If somebody does this every day or if this is just random. Somebody put two little acorns in Russell's hands. Now Chris, I wonder if they have Disney's number one rated attraction open right now. Festival of the Lion King. Because you know, Universal and all the other theme parks have shows opening. Why isn't it open, Chris? That costs money. Well guys, I really don't want to do this one, but I kind of have to. Silent night. I'm sorry, I, I had to. Oh. Child. Uh, sure. I, I think the holy infant so tender and mild. If you didn't know, one of my favorite bathrooms in all of Disney World is this bathroom right here. There's always plenty of stalls. It's always super clean. Right, we're here with the one and only Krat sisters, not Krat brothers. <laughs> How's little Zabumafu right there? He's doing great. He's hanging on. Yeah, hanging do, in there. Do you have any mystery snacks to help him speak? Oh, you know what? We, we just, just ran out. All right, Zabumafu. One. one day you'll talk to me. Yeah, he'll tell you a story of how he was leap, leap, leaping a <laughs> 
We're here to visit Jared and we're overhearing him talk to the other guests and he's saying all these cool facts that he never tells us. He will only tell me like these facts at the parks for some reason. What are we talking about here? We're talking about basically anything that you want. <laughs> we're talking about Mount Everest, mountains, mm. yetis, leopards. I know how to attract a yeti. Yeah? How? You put a disco ball out in the middle of a field and it appears. Well, does it move at all? I don't know. No. I've never even seen a yeti move, it moves honestly. real slow. It's been a long time <laughs> since I've seen a yeti move. Yeah. Yeah. A long time. I'll tell you guys something cool. Okay. Mount Everest is actually still growing. Did you know that? Oh, no. Yeah. It actually grows at about a quarter of an inch per year. So the explorers that climb it this year will have climbed further than the explorers did last year. Oh. And the year before that, and the year before that. Because, do you guys know how mountains are made? So the Earth's crust is broken up into tectonic plates and they move around. And so when they smash into each other, mm -hmm. they get shoved up, kind of like that, mm -hmm. and they make mountains. The tectonic plates that make the Himalayas and Mount Everest are still smashing into each other, so they're still growing. But it happens really slow. Eating its Wheaties. A little hidden Easter egg right here at the Mouseketeer Mountaineer Expedition. Oh, Finding Nemo the Musical, you will be missed. Silent night. Dino Land just feels very odd now. Have you guys ever been to like, like to an abandoned like mall where it's like one or two stores are open but everything else is like closed? That's what kind of Dinoland feels like. It's just kind of like an abandoned mall or abandoned amusement park. It's really sad because this used to be popping with all sorts of characters and rides and everything's just shut down. I think this is one of the saddest areas in all of Disney World right now. Thank you for the fun day, Animal Kingdom. I had a lot of fun. I, Did you feel safe? Yeah, I felt safe for most part. I um, was sad because the live entertainment is gone. Yeah. I was sad because, sad for a lot of reasons, man. Some of the rides are looking a little shaky, but uh, but the cast really makes the magic. Now, we were at the Polynesian for what, you might ask? It's a surprise, I'll show you. Look how adorable this little sign is. It's got little Maui with a hammer and hard hat. No monorail to Epcot at the Transportation or Ticket Center. We've come around the corner, we see the ferry boat, see the new castle, another ferry boat, and I see a special someone right there. We're going to the Bora Bora bungalows. Do we? Oh, this isn't even real wood. It's like metal. All right, here we go. Hello, Tina. Welcome home. First room, giant TV, a little Maui right there. So, what's the one all the way to the right the, from the Tiki room? So right. it's Kristen's research. Yeah, so that Thank one's you. Rongo. Rongo on the left. And then and this one's for... Uti. Uti. Oh, and I like the lamp. The lamp it almost looks like a fishing net. Yeah, there's a little orange bird up there. Man, look at that view. Look, that's the boat coming right by. Beautiful view, huh? Magic mirror. Ooh. You can watch a little kid get tucked into bed. Oh, for oh, no. little, little, oh, no. little. Oh, no. A double sink TV. Ooh, this is beautiful. Look at this rainforest shower. Another fancy, fancy, bougie shower. Oh, is this another jacuzzi tub? I see the little jets at the bottom. I see your jacuzzi. Nice hand-carved artwork. Ooh, ooh, look at the little mermaids watching you go to the bathroom. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, so Uti, the goddess over there, holds this torch so that she lures the fish in and she has a little fork so that she can stick the, the fish with the fork. She used to be in the tiki room in Disneyland. She was one of the tiki gods and goddesses that enchant the tiki room, but she she fell over because of wood rot <laughs> and uh, she didn't have any speech in the show like all the other tiki gods do so they never replaced her that costs money but you can still see her hiding in the Polynesian oh is that a tub is that a jacuzzi it's a miniature pool a miniature pool you got a big old TV again <gasps> is that the Jungle Cruise it's a little skipper Allison over there then you got the water pageant on the bed oh my god this door like the ultimate place to just relax. And then you can see the castle right there. I'm guessing when the fireworks are normally happening, the music will come through the speakers outside. The hanging rattan chairs out here. So peaceful. I watch the ferry boat go by. Chris said this is a different version of Maui. And this is still Uti. Pele. Ooh. Oh, look at this. She has like the Florida Keys with these colors. Oh, look at the little hula dancer. Oh my gosh, they have Annette Funicello. Do we know who this is? No, but uh, you do. I do. Annette Funicello was kind of like the Miley Cyrus. A Hawaii music? Of, it's like, he was Disney's, like, Disney did like a million, like, beach blanket, like, like Elvis style, like, movies. And she was kind of like one of the, she was one of the original Mouseketeers. And 
if you go to uh, Muppets, there's Annette full of Jello, and it's supposed to be Annette Funicello. It's like a joke about her name. This is a very, very small print. Does he jiggle? Oh, yeah. he jiggles! Look at him! A standard scent. See, it's another That's bathroom. Fine. This bathroom is less fun. I like the print. Hey, the print's nice. Handle if you need help getting up after a long day. Oh, a safe. Ooh. All kinds of goodies. Like umbrellas, just in case. A safe. Extra <laughs> blankets and pillows. A right, washer and dryer. And then we got this huge table with seven seats. And there they are again up there. The Trader yeah. Sam. Tiki mugs. Microwave. Stove top. Oven. Let's see how big the fridge is. Oh man, again. It's a giant Gordon Ramsay style fridge. Ice cubes. Freezer down there. Guest cool. bedroom. So oh, so this is about a queen size bed, yeah. I believe. Did you the know? Seven Seas Surf Company. I'm sure Did Chris you know has a that story. The Seven Seas Lagoon used to have a wave machine. Cool. I guess is why they have surfboards here. This is how Alice and I look after a long park day. Alice said this little girl is from the Knickknack Pixar short. We're looking up here. It says Tahitian Trading Company. We're trying to figure out what that's from. I looked it up. So the Tahitian was the Tahitian Terrace, and that's where where right now they have that like thing where you can get the Dole Whips and there's Rosita. Before that it was to hit the Tahitian Terrace. Next to Jungle Cruise? Next to Jungle Cruise. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Alright, so it was a restaurant in Disneyland. I think so. It's starting to get a little dark around. The lights have come on in the little mini pool. Alright, we just finished our little tour. I love that little bungalow. We're gonna go to the front lobby and see what things look like right now. Okay, right, we're entering into the Great ceremonial house. Okay, we were gonna go look for the uh, carvings, but you can't even enter out there because they're doing all the construction. So in the lobby, we did find her. You all are still probably wondering, is Trader Sam's open? Nope. And then we have poor Ohana's just dark. So we're gonna go to the Tambu Lounge for dinner. The Tambu Lounge has extended into the old Ohana area now. Okay, so we had a little problem. Our phones died, but don't worry, they have paper menus, thank God. And my friends, they have Pog Juice on property. So good. Okay, I'm on a glass number two of Pog. This is the pork belly flatbread. It's got shredded pork, crispy pork belly, <laughs> and ham, pineapple barbecue sauce, red oh my onion, God. smoked gouda, and cheddar. Two cheeses. Got two kinds of cheeses. Mmm, okay. okay. Right, and then Chris got the shrimp one. Mm -hmm. I like the pork one a lot better than the shrimp. Chris is ending the day with just a big old pineapple of alcohol. Does it taste like the Polynesia? It tastes like a pineapple princess. Okay, that is a new little hidden gem. Those flatbreads were so good. And they have jungle juice. Okay, you have to pay by the glass, but still, I only had three glasses. It was it was delicious. I believe they said it's only the weekend that they're open with the extended Ohana part, but if you get a chance, come to the Polynesian to try those flatbreads. They were really good. Now, guys, we were back at home. Let me talk about that flatbread. That flatbread was nine out of 10. I would give Chris's shrimp flatbread that he got like a seven out of 10. If you're at the Poly, grab yourself some Pog juice, a flatbread, you're gonna have a good time. I do wanna say when I was filming the bungalow, re-looking at the footage, I didn't capture like the full feel and essence of it because it's breathtaking. I, I didn't like film what I should have, so I'm sorry, but like if you get a chance, experience one of those bungalows, life changing. It's like your own little world within Disney World. My jaw just dropped just like sitting there and watching the ferry boat go by. I believe it's like one of the most expensive places to stay on property. It's probably like two, three, four thousand dollars a night, depending on when you're staying. Don't quote me on those numbers though. Now, this video we shot, I believe, in like October 30th. So that's why some people were wearing like Halloween costumes and everything. Some things have changed in Animal Kingdom since they announced uh, Festival of the Lion King is kind of coming back, but I think a lot of the performers aren't coming back like the tumble monkeys and I think like the bird dancing people. We'll have to wait and see. I believe Disney said summer 2021. So I'm glad they're gonna be bringing back some sort of live performances to Disney World. I do think Animal Kingdom is kind of missing the liveliness because it really relied on like the atmosphere from the music and the performers. Like that's what made Animal Kingdom come alive besides the animals. But the cast members truly do still make the magic within the parks. Now yesterday, Disney also announced that Ratatouille is finally opening October 1st, 2021. Yeah, October. I think that's gonna be like the big grand thing for like the 50th. We'll get some new stuff on the castle and Ratatouille and 
maybe a couple new cupcakes. Kind of low-key disappointed while other theme parks in the area are like building brand new rides that aren't like almost a decade old and like new theme parks. So at least we'll get to ride Ratatouille in October. It'll be nice. Now I would like to thank Garrett Woods for funding this video. Thank you so much for donating on Patreon. Now guys, I love you all. Please stay safe and I'll see you all on Friday. We're gonna end the video with one important message for you. Now my friends, I just want you to remember yeah. You are the most beautiful. That prehistoric WAP got this dino like.